Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to spawn copies of your database. Why would you want to ever spawn multiple copies of the same database? Well, I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes. Today's question comes from Brenna in Irving, Texas, one of my Platinum members. Brenna says, I have a database that I built that sends bulk emails to all of my customers. I use some of the techniques from your email seminar and it works great. However, the corporate mail server that I'm connecting to takes forever to send a single email. There's a huge delay between the time it sends and the time I get an acknowledgement. So I was thinking if it'd be possible to run multiple copies of my database simultaneously, I could send more emails because it opens multiple connections to the mail server. I've tried this on a couple of different computers and it seems to work like running the database on three or four network connected computers. But is there a way to do this on just one PC? It seems whenever I try to open a second copy of Access, it opens the same database window. Yes, Brenna, I've experienced this a couple times myself. I had a database that I ran, I built it for a client a few years back, and they were connecting to an SQL server. And he had, for his month end reports, he had lots of different queries that had to run in process. And to do them sequentially, one after the other would take hours and hours. So, we set up a solution where he could open up five different copies of his database and they would each do their thing and chug because the bottleneck there is just getting the data from the server. I'm actually running into this now. I've been doing a lot of work with OpenAI and ChatGPT. And sometimes if I've got multiple requests I want to send, I've got to wait for a response before I can send the next one so I can open multiple databases and each one can do its own thing. But let me show you how you can set something like this up. Before we get started though, I do want to mention that if you're doing something that has a lot of input output, a lot of read writes, a lot of table records that you're changing, that kind of stuff, be very careful of using multiple copies of the same database because the way that Access handles record locking and file locking and that kind of stuff, they, it, it, the, if you got one database processing multiple copies, it could cause collisions. This is, for example, the same reason why I tell companies uh, don't let your users use the same front end copy, right? If you've got, a, even with a split database, if you've got a database folder that everyone has access to and they're all running the same copy of the front end and they're all processing records and stuff, that can cause problems. So you want each user to have their own copy of the database. And if what you're doing is reading, writing data all day long, customer records, orders, that kind of stuff, yes, you might run into problems. However, if your concern is just sitting there having to wait for a server response, then you might not have issues. So this is one of those things where try it and see, but if it does cause problems, just be aware that you might have to make some changes. And I'll sh we'll talk about an alternative method at the end of the video as well. Now let's set up our database so that we can use it with multiple copies. Now, in order to do this, you wanna have a split database solution. You don't wanna do this with a single database file because they'll all have separate copies of the data then too. And, and if all you're doing is just some number crunching and stuff, and it doesn't matter if they're sharing the same data file, okay, great, then use multiple copies. But if you wanna all share the same data, then you have to split your database. And if you don't know what a split database is or how to set one up, go watch this video first. I'm gonna run through it real quick, but this video shows you how. All right, so first I'll set up a database folder, a new folder. I'll call this MyDB, and let's put this database in here. This is just my tech help free template. You've seen it in a million of my videos. All right, open up the folder. We're gonna call this guy the front end. We're gonna copy and paste it, Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. <laughs> we'll call this guy the back end. Now I'm gonna open up the back end and I'm going to delete everything in here but the tables. Click, Shift click, delete, yes. And there we go. This is the back end, close it. And I'll open up the front end and I'll delete only the tables. Delete, yes, there's a relationship that's gonna go away. Okay, that's fine. All right, now in here we need some tables, right? So external data, new data source, database, access, link to it, browse, and be on my desktop, my DB. There's the back end, hit open, hit okay, select all, okay, and now we're linked. Now this front end is connected to the back end and it's just like it was before. So far, so good, nothing new yet. Now, with this database open, here's my front end, right? Let's move it over to the side, and let's try to open up another copy of the front end. Double click, and it opens up this database window again. 
okay? Because Access knows that this is the database that you want. All right, hey, let's try making a shortcut to it, right? I'm going to take the front end, right click and drag, drop it here, and then go to create shortcuts here. All right, now I've got a shortcut to the front end. Let's try running that. Ah, same thing, Access always will open up this guy here if you run it from a shortcut. Now let's take a look at what's in the shortcut. All right, right click. Now I don't like the way Windows 11 does this. You get show more options and all this stuff. Properties, okay. I hate the second menu. I like properties at the bottom of that one. Um, all right, so here's the target. And this is what opens up when you try running this shortcut. It goes straight to my database file. There's the mydb front end.accdb, okay? And Access knows that accdb files are associated with, actually I should say Windows knows that accdb files are associated with Access databases. So it knows to launch this in Microsoft Access. But the problem is, if you just run this file straight this way, it's always gonna open the same copy of the file, which normally is what you want, okay? Because you don't normally want multiple copies of the same database running on one machine, normally, okay? But you can force it to do that if you're playing some tricks like I'm gonna show you now. First thing we're gonna do is, let's take this data here that's in this shortcut and put it in Notepad, because we're gonna need it, we're gonna come back to it in a minute. So open up your handy dandy Notepad. I'm gonna take this target and put that there. All right, and the start in is the same folder, it's just this. All right, well, just remember that. Okay, all right, cancel that. Now, we're gonna make another shortcut, but this shortcut is gonna be directly to Microsoft Access.exe. So we gotta go find it. Now, it could be in a different folder depending on your machine. You can go digging for it if you want to, you can search for it on your start button, however you wanna find it. I just know what's under my C drive, and then program files, and then find Microsoft Office, and then root, and then Office 16. It, this is gonna be dependent on whatever version you have. If you got an Access 365 subscription, or if you're watching this from future land, because it's currently 2024, so if you're in 2032 and these, I know some of my 10 year old videos are still getting lots and lots of views. So if you are watching this in the future, it's gonna be whatever your current version of Access is. All right, and then in here, find msaccess.exe, which is right there. Okay, now this is the guy we wanna make a shortcut to, so right click on there and go to copy. All right, and again, I hate the fact that they put Windows 11, really, I don't like these icons up here. Which one's copy? That one's copy, right? I'm still not used to these yet, yes, copy. Okay, now let's go back to our database folder. Right click and then paste a shortcut. And it's not in here, man, oh. See, you used to be able to go right click, paste shortcut. I hate the interface changes they made. Okay, we need a second window. I'm gonna open up a second window, hang on. Do this, all right, slide it off like that. So we got two copies here. All right. And yes, I'm leaving all that in the video to show my annoyance with how Microsoft is constantly changing interfaces. Stop it, stop doing that to me. <laughs> you get used to the way things work and then you mess it all up again. All right, let's go back to C, Program Files, Microsoft Office, Root, Office 16, and then msaccess.exe, where are you? All right, here we go. We're gonna right click and drag and drop it here. And we're gonna go create shortcuts here. All right, now we have a shortcut just to Microsoft Access. Okay, and if I open this up, it starts just opening up a plain Access, right? All right, close that. Okay, that'll do it for today's video, folks. Tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel to watch part two. And of course, members can watch it right now. It's one of the member benefits. You don't have to wait for part two to drop, so. It's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel. So come back tomorrow or hit that join button right now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. 
But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members, Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.